All right, lesson 15.2, markup rate. Your objective today is to calculate the markup as a percent of the selling price. The markup rate is the markup rate on an item expressed as a percent of its selling price. Okay, we've got a simple formula. Markup rate equals markup divided by selling price. And if you recall yesterday, uh, you learned how to find the markup. Okay. So, go ahead and get this copied, and we will move on from there. Press pause while you're copying, play to resume. Okay, moving right along. Here's our one and only example for today. Roy's Florist buys roses for $15.99 a dozen. It sells them for $37.95 a dozen. What is the markup rate based on the selling price? Okay, first thing we've got to do is find the markup. And if you recall from yesterday, the way you find the markup is the selling price minus the purchase price. So, $37.95 minus $15.99. Plug that in your calculator. $37.95 minus $15.99. You get $21.00. And 96 cents for your markup. Okay. Now we can use our formula that we had today, which is markup rate equals the markup divided by the selling price of 37.95. So 21.96 divided by 37.95 gives us 0.5. 786, which works out to be a markup rate of 57.9%. Okay, pretty easy lesson. Uh, let's go ahead and look at problems one through four. Uh, you guys press pause while you work this, and when you're ready to see it worked out, resume play. Okay, go ahead and try it. Okay, so let's run through these real fast. Number one, the cost of a vest is $34.85. The selling price is $49.79. So $49.79 minus $34.85. Plug that in the calculator. You get $14.94. $14.94 divided by your selling price of $49.95. 79 gives you 0 0.30, so 30% is number one. Number two, cost of a shop back is 161.97, selling price is 249.19. 249.19 minus 161.97. Okay, is 79.22. 79.22 divided by 249.19 is 0.3179. Okay, that works out to be 31.8. 31.8%. Okay? Alright. I'm going to minimize these a little bit so I can work some more. Okay. Now, back on number two. When I worked this one in my calculator, I only put in 241. Okay? So. Uh, this should not be 79 here. Okay, th that answer is wrong. Let's fix that. So 249.19 minus 161.97 is 87.22. Okay. All right. So 87.22 divided by 
19. Works out to be, this is a much nicer answer, 0.35 or 35%. Okay? So, don't get in as big a hurry as I normally get. All right? Now, let's see if we can uh, move this stuff over a little bit so I can work the next ones. Okay. All right, number three. It says the selling price for a toy train is $29.95. The cost is $15.95. Okay, so $29.95. Minus fifteen ninety five is fourteen dollars. Okay, take fourteen divided by the selling price of twenty nine ninety five. You should get point four six seven four, which works out to be. 46.7%. Okay? And number four. Number four, we've got the selling price for peanut butter is $379. The cost is $284. So $379 minus $284 is $0.95. Cents. Okay, 95 cents divided by 379 works out to be 0 0.2506, which is 25.1%. All right, so it's not a it's not a tough lesson. Just watch your numbers when you're plugging stuff in and uh, you shouldn't have any trouble. Okay? Here's your assignment. Lesson 15.2, page 561, 1 through 15 and 19. Get busy.